Hey folks, so uh, day before SEMA, we're basically set up and cleaning trucks. And, and if you listen to the last week's video, the turbo failed in Ar Albuquerque, the passenger side turbo. Hellion met me up here, uh, coordinated to uh, get me a brand new turbo. And I just spent like the last 20, 30 minutes putting it in. So let's show you the, uh, show you what's happened. So let me swap this around. All right. so. Here's the truck, and that's the old, the the good turbo. That's the one I replaced. Uh, that one's powder coated, and I brought some paint that matched for this. So that's got still like the casting dullness to it. So it needs to get cleared at least, or I'll take it off maybe powder coated after. It actually doesn't look too bad even in here. So maybe just leave that. And then uh, here's here's the old turbo. And uh, it's uh, it's definitely got some wobble to it, um, and you can see right here where it's impacted the housing. So, yep, it's uh, it's definitely no bueno. So, and there's the. The other powder coated housing and it you know it's got stains and everything oil uh, in it and that really wasn't the concerning point uh, the concerning point is all these marks here that could probably have been uh, cleaned off and reused but I was worried about metal and stuff in there so and you can see all the all the damage you know in here so Definitely salvageable, but you know, why risk it? And if I've got a brand new one and it's off a of color or so, that's fine. So, anyway. Yep, so anyway, uh, we're done and we're ready. And uh, turbo's all cleaned up. And I'm ready to start the show tomorrow. And hopefully, the truck gets well received. Uh, again, thanks for uh, everything uh, to the, the group out there following the channel. Uh, please, you know, don't don't go away. Uh, we're going to continue the the journey. I need to get the uh, trailer out, hook everything up, get some road miles, get some more pictures, um, and then we still have to drive all the way back to Huntsville. So we'll do a final wrap up, and then uh, tomorrow I'll start walking through the show, and uh, and I'll get that all captured, all wrapped up uh, for uh, Sunday. So uh, this is day one of uh, the next installment of uh, the Factory 5 XTF truck. So uh, we'll see you here in a bit. Take care. Alright folks, so day, I guess, plus one at SEMA. So the show starts tomorrow and we've got the trucks arranged in the booth and cleaned up mostly. There you go. Still boxes and stuff all around. So that's the that's the race truck from factory five that's that's their truck the one who's jumping in the videos all cleaned up and then you got my truck and then Johnny's truck it's over here this is actually based off a of, custom based off of a uh, 2021 or 22 uh, F-150 cab. So that's also a wrap and it's in the off-road pre-runner style. Did a really good job. There's the side All the details. Looks good. Still, still finishing it here at the show, adding pieces. Looks good. And there he is, wiring up some stuff or wrapping. And the Factory 5 crew. There they are. And we're still waiting on the sign to get lifted. Yeah, I gotta hang up the sign. It's supposed to go up there somewhere. It's one of the last ones up, but. Anyway, that's the booth, and uh, right where they're all standing, there's going to be the uh, 
uh, hot twin turbo uh, hot rod. So we'll get a picture of that. They just rolled in from Phoenix uh, last night. So stand by. Hey folks, so it's day one at SEMA and uh, all the trucks are done and uh, completed. We were finishing John's truck up uh, about 9, 9.30. So let's take a look at the booth before the madness begins and you can see the, uh, the hot rod made it. So let's turn this around and take a look. All right, so you got John's truck, got all the decals on it, lights are all on it. I'll well, show you the front of that thing. Baja lights in the front from Baja Designs. It's got a lettering in. We got yeah. Okay, and we got the these auxiliary lights right here as well. And then yeah, and here uh, here's the sick week. Uh, 33 hot rod. I believe it's the fastest factory five in the quarter right now. It's got a 6.2 in it. Twin turbo. Guys driving from Canada. Been on the road. I don't know for a couple weeks anyway. Drove in late uh, the other day from Phoenix. It's pretty cool. And it's uh, running on E85 at the track dual fuel with you know regular unleaded it's got air conditioning all the comforts and all he does is he swaps it over in 45 minutes it's ready to go down the track and here are the guys prepping all the trucks We'll just take a quick gander around. See what else we got. Over here we got McGuire's. Over here all the cars are still covered up. I'll have to get out and walk around after there's more people out here. But I figure we'll start, start walking a little bit. The show's not going to open for another hour, I think. But there's all sorts of cool stuff here. mark right there I think pretty nice Let's take a look yeah so overall I mean it's just a lot of walking around and a lot of cool cars to see. You can't really see it all in a day, so try and do the walk through the show, uh, you know, an hour or so before it opens and then get back to the booth. So actually, you know, about three days in, we finally get around to the entire show. Let's see, we got some, some pretty cool cars over here on one. Yeah, everything's covered up, really. of part and this is only one building so we'll have to walk around to all the other buildings take a look around now this thing that's thing pretty nice all the way down I mean, you see stuff that it's just crazy what people can do with these parts. Anything you can imagine, it's, it's probably probably here. Godzilla motors were plentiful last year. I haven't seen too many of them this year. Let's see, we got what we got here. Backdraft Racing Cobras. 
we've got a small EV section in uh, at SEMA this year in the back. Ford is here with their lightning truck. I mean, we even get grass. And this grass is green now, and by Friday it's going to just be a brown. It looks like my yard, all brown. Got some donks over here, it looks like. Take a look. Some back to the future stuff. Not really my thing, but I mean, you, I mean, you have to shout out. That's that's a long piece of metal to get straight. I mean, there's a lot of detail in there. Shout out to that. That's just, it's not my thing, but it's pretty cool. Look at this thing. No idea what this is. That looks like a bunch of fun. Tandem front seat, back seat car. I'm guessing it's probably electric. Yeah, that would be fun. Definitely not a Walmart deal. Yeah, electric. That's neat. Another super donk. <laughs> Yep, those tires don't stand a chance. Very cool. Alright, well that's like a quick six minutes through and I basically walked through like a third of this, this building. So, we'll just keep going and uh, I'll get with you uh, throughout the day and uh, we'll, we'll see if we can't talk to some people. Talk to you later. Let's just walk in, just get the flow of everything, kind of see. This is just day one, right? So not a lot of people here still. I think Thursday is really the big day. But it's just packed anyway. All sorts of gizmos. Just nice cars. Look at this thing. Just slick. It's hard to say. Drag week. Holly. This is GTO right here. It's pretty cool. It's GTO. Nice interior in it. Look at that. So, freaking work, work of art. Really nice. It looks like the hot rods are all coming back, or, or muscle cars. Alright, keep me posted on this. Take a look at And we're back at the Factory 5 booth. So again, just day one. And I'm only in one of the buildings, so we'll have to do a walkthrough tomorrow. See if we can't see more of the show. Okay, here's another one talking about carbon fiber stuff. C10, completely carbon fiber everywhere. Check that out. Here's the coal packs.
Really, really nice job. Full race inside. Just crazy. The only place you'd see something like this. Completely dry sump motor. Fire suppression system in it. It's a street car. It's a street car being raced at the track. Full roll cage. Lots of attention here. All carbon. Really, really nice. All right, so another one. Kind of always wanted one of these. Kind of look slammed down. Go ahead, you're fine. You're totally fine. Look at this thing. I mean, I get it. You know, it's a truck, and trucks are supposed to be utilitarian. But I mean, you just just like the long look of this thing. Slammed, obviously. Huge tires, huge rims. Just the amount of detail and expression that goes into some of these things. Just awesome. All on bags. It's just as nice on the inside. Very, very nice. And that paint job is pretty good. Yeah, I'd say they got that right. Look at that. Just endless black paint. Yep, good job, guys. So here's a very cool one. Big four-door. Check this thing out. Twins. Bad. Look at that. All the EFI. All the metal work. Freaking awesome. So it's halfway through uh, the first day, and uh, let's go walk around. I took a break. Freaking feet are killing me. So let's go walk around and see some of these cool vehicles. There are a lot more people here, so hopefully we can see a few. Stand by. All right, this thing's cool. Check this out. Just me. Very cool. Oh yeah. I don't know, this is kind of cool. Check that out, VW Bug lifted. It's VW Bug in spirit, right? Look at that thing. That's a biggie. Four wheel steer. Nice. And a couple more exotics. Supercars. Look at this thing. That thing is slammed to the ground. Go ahead, you're fine. It's Lambo. This is a pretty blue right here. Nice wheels. Oh yeah. And then the SVJ. Are we saying 11 to 16? I don't know. Looks really good. Was following the goon squad when they were rebuilding theirs. This one, this one looks pretty good. 
pretty good <laughs> understatement for an SVJ. Yeah, it's nice. All right, we'll keep going. That's the first couple minutes. Hey folks, day two, SEMA 2023. Uh, it's here in the Factory 5 XDF uh, display booth uh, still. Uh, things are looking good early this morning. Show's not open for about another hour or so. So we're in here cleaning the trucks and we changed some of the display. So let me show you what we did uh, so that uh, we can kind of show the flexibility of the truck some. So let's, let's take a ride, stand by. All right, so we lifted John's truck up, sitting on a jack stand so you can see the entire suspension up in the air, bump stops. Pretty cool. And then you can, you can see the spot. I don't know if you can in the video, but there's a bypass shock mount there. And then the second hole down here. And there's the remote canister, the suspension. Kind of dark in there, but you can kind of get the, the gist of it. Extended brake lines, electrical connectors, and you can see as high as that truck is, it's still flat on the ground. Pretty cool. And then we took bedside off so you can actually see the entire chassis of the truck and the bed and how the bed actually has a substantial piece of steel there on the frame. You can basically mount anything you want to that and it's part of the structure. There's the, the gas tank. 26 gallon gas tank and the stock exhaust. All right. It's pretty cool. And then I'll show you the uh, the fender. And here's the carbon fiber fender. And that's basically how quickly it comes off. All right, so you got you got screws all down this side, and the weave is really good. You can kind of see that. Real good. And that is that's not a wrap. That's that's all carbon fiber. You can see the back of it even. Saw the carbon fiber on the back side. Good deal. So that's that's what we did. Change up the, uh, the display a little bit. I'm going to walk around before the show opens now, and uh, we'll take a look. I did half of Central Hall yesterday, just looking at some of the high points, I guess, as you saw, and uh, we'll we'll do the other half uh, right now. So let's take a walk. Okay. Well, I found my first noteworthy car over here in the Central Hall. Check this thing out, full carbon body wide kit for a C8. Uh, I've seen plenty of painted ones. This thing is has me rethinking the whole C8 deal. This is really slick. Look at that thing, it looks like a Batman mobile. Front is super aggressive. Full carbon body kit. I don't even know how much this thing is, but my goodness. Thing is ridiculous. I mean, it changed. The, they got the whole back end of the the car. I've always not really preferred like the this whole back end just being like flat and extended. It looked kind of odd. But with this kit, they put a couple bulges in there. That is sick. Here's the back end on this thing. Yeah, that's. That's the right way to do it. Let's see. I'm sure there's no price on it.
Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Anderson Composites. Wow. That's a three-quarter shot. Ooh, that's a nice one. Glad I was here to see this. Hey, morning, folks. So it's day three SEMA. We're going to uh, take a walk outside, I think, today. Get some fresh air and see what the uh, the outside scene looks like. So stand by and uh, we'll walk out there and see how the, the rest of the show looks. Haven't really had a chance to walk around, been so busy in that, in that booth. So stand by and we'll take a walk. All right, here we go, the outside scene. Lots of stuff. So we'll take a walk around here. There's like a drift ring or something in the center. Over here, we'll take a look over there. We got mothers, a bunch of off-road vehicles, Adams polishes, a bunch of rigs. Let's go take a look. Just kind of soak it all up. Nice, cool day out. I have some interesting cars here. Salt flats. Oh, that sun's bright. There's a lot of money in that truck right there. Whew. Little play toy. I had a lowered Humvee. Check that out. That's pretty neat. Chopped and lowered. Look at that thing. It actually is a Humvee. Think, yeah, absolutely. Chopped and lowered. Interesting. Yeah, it's an actual Humvee. Looks like it's had some mods. I don't ever recall driving a Humvee with a Tremec or anything in it. <laughs> Nice stereo system. Would have been nice when I was in. Nice. A raptor. I don't think that's actually a raptor. Yeah, it's got raptor stickers on it, but. Yeah, don't think so. Anyway, moving on. Truck row, all lifted trucks. Huge, huge trucks, big money. Lots of money in suspension. Again, not my cup of tea, but shout out to expression of metal and suspension. Look at that. That's just a beautiful truck. Real nice. I don't know what you would do with it, but I mean, just giant trucks. Six doors. This is a party mobile right here. <laughs> Some lower trucks. C8. Let's check this out. Street Hunter. Very nice. Still like the carbon fiber one. What? Real nice. 
Oh, there's a slammed F-150. We'll go look at that. Not sure I would go that low with it, but let's see. WRX. Actually, Mitsubishi. Check out this thing. That is low. A little too low for me. Looks good though. So 2021 body. Nice. And then the competition over here. Dodge sitting on the ground. Oh, I just saw something. We need to go look at it. This is definitely a wrap. Look at that thing. That looks good. That wing might need to be adjusted. Bad. <laughs> Six wheel. Another party mobile, potentially. Look at this thing. Yeah, it's a wrap. It's never going to never. All right, it goes on for a row and rows and trucks and just keeps on going. Let's walk over here to the circle, see what's going on over here. Fusion bumpers. I don't know, I think there's a truck around those wheels somewhere. God, those things are bright. Let's... All right, let's see what we have back here. I believe this is a drift circle. We have to come back out here. Yeah. Yeah, so all day long they'll be doing drifting. So I need to come back at some point this afternoon and get you a shot. These guys running in the drift. All right, well, we'll keep, uh, keep an update and uh, we got two more, two more days. Uh, one, one more day, tomorrow's the last day. So stand by. Yeah, so that's uh, day three and we're off to a good start. It's nice and cool out. And uh, we'll get, uh, get final report tomorrow. And then we're out of here to drive all the way back home, another 1,800 miles, and uh, hopefully all goes well. And uh, we'll keep we'll keep the updates coming. And uh, I think we got some more stuff with the truck. Uh, as far as we're going to be doing uh, trailer testing with it, and load up the Daytona, and maybe go for a drive, all hooked up. So. Stay tuned for more of that, uh, but in the time being, so peace out, and uh, we'll see you here in a couple hours with some drift, and then uh, we'll close it out uh, tomorrow. So take care.
that's a wrap for uh, SEMA 2023. The truck is right there and we are in the parking lot ready, standing by for tomorrow's ride home. So it was a great show, truck worked out great. Shout out to RSA uh, Race Solutions for the, uh, for the help with the uh, transmission and man, they, they even knocked out a quick tune up for me. So that, uh, the truck's actually working quite well now. It just rips. Uh, and then the um, turbo from Hellion, Hoyt, uh, dropping that off and John coordinating that all, all on the road, went right in. Still have the turbo with me. We're just gonna, we're gonna catch up on the other end. So, I mean, just all in, get the job done. Truck's there, we're ready to roll. Uh, thanks again for uh, all the support. Even uh, the high fives coming in. There were a bunch of people who uh, saw the YouTube videos and recognized the truck, so that's awesome. Um, again, we're not going far. We're gonna start doing some trailer testing probably as soon as next week. Uh, gotta get home, you know, unload the truck. Get work, normal work day stuff to catch up with and uh, we'll get right back to it. Don't go far. Keep the likes and subscribes coming. Comments are always welcome. Uh, if you want to see me do something else with the truck, uh, other than jumping, <laughs> we're not jumping this one. We're going to go to the drag strip with it, but no jumping. Anyway, uh, take care and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks.